Good day, teachers. Paano naman po kapag inverse function? So, ganito po. Copy po natin ang given equation. We have y is equal to square root of x plus 2 minus 5. Kapag inverse, baliktad. Pagbabalik na rin lang po natin. Si y ay gagawin natin x at si x ay gagawin natin y. So, we will have x is equal to the square root of y plus 2 minus 5. Then, what's next? Gagawin po natin ng ganitong format. Si y po ang nasa left side. So, itong si 5 ay tatanggalin po natin dito sa side na ito at ililipat natin kay x. Therefore, magpapalit po ito ng sign. Magiging siya x plus 5. Then, nilipat lang po natin si y sa left side at si x plus 5 sa right side. Okay? The goal is ganito pong format. Dapat mag-isa lang si y sa left side. So, kailangan po nating matanggal ang square root or the radical sign. And recall the rule of exponents. Ang sabi po dito, a raised to 1 over n is equal to the nth root of a. So, our a here is y plus 2. And nth root, so square root, therefore, n is equal to 2. So, the square root of y plus 2 is also equal to y plus 2 raised to 1 half, then copy x plus 5. Paano po natin ma-eliminate or matatanggal ang exponent dito? Ang 1 half, kapag tinimes po natin ng 2, ay magiging 1. Very good. Therefore, i-square po natin ang both sides. So, ganyan. In-square natin. Kapag ganito po na in-square natin ang left side at right side, wala naman po yun ang effect kasi pareho po natin in-square sila. Proceed tayo. Pwede na po natin i-cancel out ang 2 kasi we have the numerator and the denominator. What remain will be y plus 2 na lang. Then, copy x plus 5 squared. Ayan, malapit na po tayo sa katotohanan. Para maiwan si y, kailangan pong lumipat nito sa kabila. So, dito, okay lang po ang palipat-lipat at palitan. Mm -hmm. So, ito naging minus 2 po dahil tumawin po siya sa equal sign. And now, we have y is equal to the quantity of x plus 5 squared minus 2. So, pareho na po dito na nasa left side si y, walang asama mag-isa lang. And paano na po yung inverse function after po natin mapagpalit ang y at x? Therefore, etong y na ito ay siya na rin mismo ang ating inverse. So, y raised to negative 1 is equal to the quantity of x plus 5 squared minus 2, which is letter B. So, ganun lang po sa ating inverse function. Recall lang po ng ating rule of exponent. So, next Dito naman po ay naka-exponent. So, paano po ito? Again, copy, na, copy po natin ang given equation. Next, pagpapalitin lang po natin sila. Then, ililipat ang ating y sa left side. Si 8 po ay tumawid, kaya naging x minus 8. To eliminate the exponent, magta-times po tayo ng para maging 1. One third. And we will have to apply this again. So, ito po ay magiging, ayan, ita times natin siya ng one third again. Basta pareho pong side ay in-apply natin, then okay lang po yun. Pareho po natin ni-raise sa one third. Okay, so pareho lang. I-canceled out ang three. What remain will be y is equal to cube root of x minus 8. Paano po yun nangyari? Balikan po natin itong rule of exponents. Diba what we have 3 as n, therefore, the nth root, so third root of a, where a is equal to x minus 8. So we have y is equal to the cube root of x minus 8. And this y is also the same as the inverse function. y raised to negative 1 is equal to the cube root of x minus 8, which is letter D. So, ito lang po ang about sa inverse function. Baka lumabas. So, at least meron po tayong idea. Maraming salamat po. God bless po sa example.